Another episode of Ammo Quest coming your way where I'm trying to find the ideal personal defense ammunition for today's little pocket pistols, little 380s, such as this Taurus TCP. Uh, 380 is not known as an effective round, but I think that if we can get the right balance of penetration and expansion, we could probably find a round that's going to do reasonably well. I found some candidates already that seem promising. Today is one of the most sought after candidates I've been looking for, Hornady Custom. Now, lots of people love critical defense. I tested critical defense and it did not perform quite like I wanted to. So why am I optimistic about Hornady Custom from the same manufacturer? Different bullet, this is the XTP bullet. And I got good results with the XTP from some other rounds. Uh, in the Hornady load, they're actually advertising a thousand feet per second muzzle velocity. Not all of the XTP rounds have, have listed their muzzle velocity. And I, in some of that I've tested, I found them to be quite a bit lower than what Hornady is claiming with their thousand feet per second. So possibly we're gonna have all the goodness of the XTP bullet and we're gonna have some additional punch because it's loaded to a thousand feet per second. If that comes together, we could have a really successful round here. So I cannot wait to get to the range. Got the clear ballistics gel ready to put this stuff to the test. All right, we've got the results on the Hornady Custom. When looking at the gel block, the initial reaction is that, eh, these didn't necessarily do all that well. But, remember, we were foiled by our arch nemesis bounce back. And we have to compensate for that. You can see how at least three of the bullets were affected by substantial bounce back. And when we compensate for that using the Schwartz Quantitative Ammunition Selection Mathematical Formula, we find that the real penetration results are actually really pretty darn good. The shortest bullet was 12.07 inches. The second one came in at 12.15. Third is 12.42. The fourth one is 12.88. And the furthest travel was 12.91. So every bullet exceeded 12 inches, not by much, none of them hit 13, but they all exceeded 12 inches and they all expanded and that altogether has got to be considered great performance for the Hornady Custom. Examining the Hornady Customs, there's not really much to say that we haven't said over and over with the XTP rounds. Every XTP that I've tested has delivered consistent, excellent, modest expansion. Regardless of the speed of impact, they perform with 100% consistency. They deliver good to sometimes excellent penetration and they expand mildly. Some other rounds expand a lot bigger, but they don't penetrate as far. So in the eternal quest of trying to balance penetration versus expansion to get an effective performer in 380, I think the XTP does really well. The Hornady Customs were an excellent performing round, just like all the XTP rounds have been. Actually, let's, let's just discuss them all together. I've tested four rounds so far from the XTP, the Hornady Custom, the Fiocchi Extremas, the HPRs, and the Precision One. In this test, the Hornady Custom showed higher velocity than any of these three and bigger expansion. Not a lot. We're talking about 6% difference when averaged over the five rounds. Hornady Custom delivered a little bit more expansion. Conversely, these other three delivered a little more penetration. On average, about an inch more. So, which to choose? How do you choose among these? I mean, at least as far as these three go, I'd say the most affordable one, the, the one that runs best in your gun. You know, reliability is important. They're all loaded with the same bullet. Uh, Fiocchi and HPR, especially in my test, they delivered exactly, or basically exactly, the same velocity, the same expansion, and very similar penetration. So these two, I think, are just fantastic rounds. The Precision One, little bit faster velocity, comparable penetration. Uh, the Hornady was about 50 feet per second faster than these two and about 35 feet per second faster than the Precision One and did expand a little bit more. If you value expansion over penetration, maybe that sways you towards the Hornady. 
Uh, to me, they're all fine products. I would probably tend a little bit towards more penetration where I could get it, so I might think of one of these three. However, Hornady is a premium brand name, and if that makes you feel more comfortable to be buying premium ammunition from a premium manufacturer, this is a great offering. Any of them would be fine. Any of them did very well in the bear gel test. Now, we got to test them all in the denim, the four layers of heavy denim to make sure that they are all around performers. As far as bear gel goes, they're all excellent. But how will they hold up in the denim? We're going to find out. That's coming up soon. So stay tuned to the Ammo Quest. Subscribe so you can be notified when the new videos are posted. Or you can also go on Facebook or on our shootingthebull.net blog and stay connected with us there. Thanks for watching.